hey welcome back to my channel my name is Kay Shine, and thank you so much for clicking on this video today you already know your girl is back with another video based on the title you know exactly what I'm about to talk about make sure you guys comment like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Kayshawn with three E's Y'all already know, based on the title, this is a part three, so make sure you check out my description box. That way you can watch part one and part two before you watch this. That way you know exactly what's going on. Without further ado, don't look at my nails. I got a nail appointment next week. Without further ado, let's hop right into the video. Let's go. All right, y'all. So, boom. Y'all know exactly how I like to start my videos off. Okay. I left off last week talking about how, you know, I Desi was asking me, like, you know, did I know James and did I sleep with James? So like I told y'all before, me and James, we never slept together or nothing. We didn't get that far. I said the most we did was like kiss and stuff, but we never slept with each other. So I told Desi, I'm like, no, we did not sleep together. So he all mad. He like, why you didn't tell me you know this nigga? Like you got me all in niggas faces that used to talk to my girl. So I'm like, let me stop you right there. First of all, I don't got you all in nigga faces. I didn't know that he was about to show up. And I'm like, second of all, you know, I didn't want to say it right then and there because I don't know. Like, it just wasn't the right time for me. Like, as soon as I see him, it's not like I'm about to whisper in Desi ear like, oh, by the way, I used to talk to him. Like, I could have did that, but I didn't. So, it's just like, don't say, don't say that I got you all in niggas' faces. It ain't like I brought you around a dude that I talked to. No, he just showed up. So, it's like, and mind you, I haven't talked to James in a minute, like over a month or so. Like, it's just been time. So, I really wasn't thinking about James. So, you know, I was trying to kind of allow him to be a little bit upset because maybe I could have told you right then and there. But after that, I'm like, what, we, what you want to do? And I'm thinking, like, we still not even really together. I, like I told y'all, me and Desi was talking about only talking exclusively. But at that time, we still wasn't official. We wasn't together. So, you know, technically, I could still talk to whoever I want, even though I still was not talking to James. So, I'm telling him, like, listen... I ain't never sleep with that man. Me and him don't talk. I haven't talked to him in a long time, but I just want to let you know because I didn't know that y'all was friends. This is what I, I hate when people say this to Just because somebody is known to you or you know somebody, stop saying everybody, everybody know we bros. Desi looking at me, he like, how you even know we was cool? Everybody know we bros. Like, everybody in the hood know we bros. Everybody know that we've been friends for so long. Everybody know. Stop saying everybody know. I was talking to this one boy, y'all. Prime example, I was talking to this boy, and do y'all know who Mr. Beast is? It's okay if y'all don't, because this about to prove my point. So, he was telling me, you know, about Mr. Beast. And I was telling him, like, oh, I don't know who Mr. Beast is. And he like, how you don't know? He got, like, over 230 million subscribers on YouTube. And I'm like, because I don't know him. So, because he said that, I was just so happy to look him up. And, yeah, you would think because somebody have 230, like, million subscribers that everybody would know them. But I'm not in the gaming world. Like, I know he do YouTube videos, but I think he do a lot of streams or games. I still don't even know much about him. Him. But even though he has millions of followers, I'm the one that's not following him. I didn't, and, and no, it's nothing against him. Like, shout out to you, Mr. Beast. You out there doing your thing. A lot of people may know him, but I don't. So he really trying to go back and forth with me on the phone about how you don't know this person or how you, everybody don't know everybody. Even if he popular in your world, even if you feel like he has a lot of followers, I, we don't, everybody don't know everything. I don't know who Mr. Beast is. I, I, kind of still don't know who he is but i did look him up and i see he do got a lot of following but that don't mean that i follow him that's not my community that's not i don't pay attention to the streamers or the gamers or everybody just don't have to know everybody so when he's telling me like how you don't know me and him bros like everybody know it. who is everybody you th you think i'm just in your hood like walking around saying hi to everybody in your hood i'm not in your hood so i don't care if you feel like y'all kind of known in the city and a lot of people know y'all that don't mean everybody know y'all like that's weird. That it, it, come on now. But anyways, so I'm just like, well, I'm I'm not everybody. I didn't know that y'all was brothers. I didn't know that you've been knowing him since 16. Whatever it is, I don't know. And mind y'all, when I was with James, like I said, if if he didn't bring you around, I didn't see him. I didn't see none of the James family. I wasn't around none of his hood, none of his people. The only people that I seen that came from James is when he came to kick it with me and he bring his homeboys. If you wasn't one of his homeboys that he brought, I don't know you exist in James' world, right? So I'm telling him that, and he like, okay, yeah. So you you the only one, you the only one that don't know. 
Do you think you hood famous? Like, do you think you fucking Beyonce? Like, who the hell do you think you is? Somebody, you the only one that don't know. And I can call all my friends and they don't know. And I'm sure I can walk down the street and they don't know. Everybody don't know you. Who the hell you think you is? So I was getting irritated by Desi because I'm like, it's one thing to be mad about you finding out that I talked to your friend or whatever. But now you're trying to act like you're trying to put yourself on this pedestal. Like, everybody just know y'all. And now you're starting to give, like, you want to be... You want to be in the loop. You want to be hood famous. You want to be you want to be one of those boys. And I ain't feeling it. So I'm looking at him. I'm like, well, you know what? It is what it is. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. I'm telling you. So that way you can make the choice. The choice is yours if you want to still talk to me. If you don't. But I'm telling you right now. You know, we talk. We sleep together. And it is what it is. And I kept reiterating the sleeping together. Because you know niggas, they can't. They could cheat a million times. But let you kiss another guy. Let you sleep with another guy. Let you do anything else with another guy. They whole world in. So I'm telling him like, hey, you know, I didn't sleep with him. I ain't gave him no, you know what? Nothing. The most we ever did is probably kiss. That's it. So he just got an attitude where he just, oh, why well, you didn't tell me? I really wish you would have told me. Whether I told you last night or this morning would have really had made a difference. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and head up out of here because we're not getting nowhere. I'm going to let that simmer. I'm going to let me tell you what I told you simmer. You think about it. And you know, you hit me up if you want to. If I don't hear from you, then I know what it is because I'm not about to beg you to talk to me. Like, at the end of the day. I didn't know y'all was friends, and I mean, it, my thing is, I understand, like, people might feel like, oh, don't homie hop and stuff, but I've, I don't know that y'all are cool, and I talk to you, now that I know, why do we need to stop talking, because I talked to one of your homies, well, you, we can't unsleep with each other, we can't unkiss each other, what is it going to change, it's not going to change anything, so it's up to you to decide, like, if I knew y'all was cool before, I wouldn't have talked to you, but it's it just, I don't understand what's going to happen now, so... He like, um, well, let me just ask you, like, you know, do you still care about him? Like, you still love him? I said, sir, where you get love from? I just literally told you that we didn't even sleep together. We didn't do nothing. So how you miss all that and ask me, do I still love him? I didn't. I said, no, because we never got that. We wasn't even that far in nothing. Like, we used to talk. He was too much of a hothead. And I, I broke it off. That's it. I'm like, I don't love him. Like, what are you talking about? So, he like... No, I'm just making sure, like, that I wasn't no rebound. Like, I don't know if you know, because we be getting money. So, when you stop talking to him, I ain't know if you just was trying to go to one of his other get money ass friends. <laughs> Excuse me? Where's the money? No offense, but where's the money, baby? I said... <laughs> so I started laughing, y'all. I said, oh, you think I came after you because you was one of James' get money as friends? First of all, where your money at? Let's be clear. No offense, Daisy, even if you're watching this right now, where your money at? I'm not saying he broke, but where was his money at? I didn't see it. One, where your money at? Two, how did I try to come after one of his get money ass friends when you pursued me at the barbecue in the backyard? I didn't know nothing about you, young man. So I'm very confused. Like, what are you talking about? So I was just like, I asked him, like, where your money? He, oh, what you trying to call me broke? Like, what, what you mean? Like, what, where my money at? I'm like, I'm just saying, you talking about one of his get money friends. Where your money? You ain't never, you act like you cashed out on me or you spent a lot of money on me or something. Like, what are you talking about? I ain't never asked you for nothing. So, how would I know? I'm just thinking, I'm like, boy, you sound fucking ridiculous. You sound slow. I ain't pursue you. You pursue me. I ain't know nothing about you and James being cool. So, he like... I just don't see how when, like, I'm on that nigga page, like, do you follow him on social media? So, I'm like, yeah, I ain't never see you on his page. So, mind you, I follow James on Instagram and Facebook at the time. So, James' Instagram is strictly him. Like, you can go down to his page. It's strictly him. And now, he had a son. So, like, now it's him and his son. But before his son, it was all James. The only thing I was saying on his page was him money and drugs okay that's the only thing i used to see on james page we follow each other on facebook but like i didn't used to really get on facebook like that so i never really paid attention so if he wasn't on my timeline i never really just went through his facebook page to go like look for anything like no 
So I'm like, um, where? I don't see you nowhere on his Instagram. I'm like, I've been on his page before, and unless it's a new picture, because mind you, I ain't been on there in like over a month or so. But I'm like, unless it's a new picture, I didn't never see you on his um Instagram. So he like. No, I'm not on his Instagram, but, like, you got him on Facebook. Like, I'm on his Facebook page. And I was just like, oh, well, I don't know what to tell you. i never seen you. I didn't know. Like, what are you talking about? So, as we talking, he going through his um, phone. So, I'm like, I know you're not about to go try to find the picture. And, like, what are you about to go do? So, he's going through his page or whatever. So, he like. Look, look, look right here. Like, this is us. This is me right here in the white. There go James. There go our homeboy. Like, you ain't see this picture? Mind y'all, the fucking picture is from, like, when they was in high school, like, 16, 17 years old, when they probably first met. I said, did you think I went on his Facebook page and scrolled all the way to the bottom of his album from 1990, so but from, like, 2007 or so, you think I went through his Facebook, checked out all his pictures, like, when we added each other, I didn't go on James' Facebook and looked at all of his pictures that he ever posted. You think I went back to all of the albums? I'm not about to do that. And mind you, the picture is like, you know, like back in the day when you used to do the Kodak cameras, the little old school cameras, you could tell it was a printout picture and James like took a picture of the picture. So like the flash, it was like a little glare on the picture. So the picture wasn't even really good quality. So you just, I just would not have known that that was Desi. One, I'm not going that far back to look at his photo album. And two, even if I seen this picture, I would have never thought that it was Desi. Like, why would I think that? And then Desi name, because he did have them tagged in the picture, but Desi name wasn't even like Desi Banks. It was like his hood. Like, let's say he was from like Six Mile or something. It was like Six Mile... Da, 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 like a hood name and stuff like it wasn't even like desi so i would have never known it was him so i look at the picture i'm like you gotta be shitting me ain't no way you think i was supposed to pay attention to this picture and then like that's it he literally only had that one picture it's not like it was multiple pictures like he could pull up all these pictures like i'm right here i'm right there you talking about one picture from high school so I was like, yeah, I'm going to head up out of here because you, this is a joke. It's a joke. So let me go ahead and go. So he like. No, nah, I mean, like, don't run now. Nah, like, you and you know, sit down and answer these questions. I said, first of all, this, let me tell you something. I'm not running nowhere. I said, you obviously kind of made up your mind. You keep telling me that you feel like I should know that y'all friends. I keep telling you that I'm not. It's a waste of my, it's a waste of time. And now I'm starting to realize how y'all are friends because the both of y'all always ask multiple questions that I always give y'all the answer to, but yet y'all want to still ask the same fucking questions. I always got to repeat myself from y'all. So I'm like, I'm good. I'm not answering no more questions. It is what it is. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead, get up out of here. You decide what you want to do. So he's still trying to talk and stuff. I end up walking out i'm leaving i don't know what's up with this little friend group and why they always trying to like little girl somebody and act like they telling somebody what to do now you go wait and answer these questions you not gonna get no more liquor like i don't know what's wrong with y'all so i'm like you know what I'm going to go ahead and head out, right? So, I leave and stuff. So, like, Desi was texting me, but I'm I'm driving home. So, I'm not responding back because I'm just thinking, like, no, you just got too much going on. And let me find out you another hothead like a damn friend. So, I ain't say nothing, whatever. I don't want to respond. I go home. I chill for that night. Later on that night, James ended up texting me. So, I'm thinking, like, okay, like, what did you text me for? Like, your friend must have asked you something or said something to you. So, he texts me and he like, I'm about to call you. Answer the phone. <laughs> No, I'm not, James. Like, I don't care about that. You think just because you text me first and says you about to call that I'm about to answer? So, I'm like, I'm not answering no phone. Like, no. So, I didn't even say, I'm just, just saying that in my head. Like, I'm not answering the phone. So, I didn't even text back. He ended up calling. So, I'm forwarding to him. Like, yeah, I want you to know I'm literally not answering your call. That way, you won't think to call again. So, I don't want him to think I just missed the call. No, I'm not answering. So, I'm forwarding it. So, he calling back. I'm forwarding it. He calling back. I do it again. So, he texts me like, why you not answering your phone? I just got to tell you something about Desi. So, I'm thinking, like, I'm not about to say nothing because what you got to tell me about Desi that Desi can't tell me himself. And he, like, um, I guess he realized I wasn't saying I'm back. Like, so, he, like, it's serious. So, I'm like, Ugh. I don't even know why, y'all, I decided to play this game with him. So, when he called, I answered. I said, oh, what's going on with Desi? Like, what's so serious about whatever? What's going on? He, like... Yeah, like, you know, I was just calling because, you know, Desi did call me and asked me, like, you know, did we used to talk? And he told me that you told him that we was kicking it. So I was like, 
Okay. I said, what you, you called me to let me know that Desi called you? I said, so? He like, no, I'm just letting you know. Like, I ain't really say too much. Like, I told him, like, we just talked for a little minute, minute but it was nothing major, you know. And, you know, our secret is safe with me. I said, what secret? What's the secret? What are you talking about? I'm like, that's really the truth. We only talked for a little bit, and that's it. He like... Okay, like, stop trying to act like what we had wasn't special. Like, you knew, you know we was going to be more than that. We was already talking about living together. And, you know, we was talking about, you know, if we get married. <laughs> I said, James, when did we talk about all of that? Oh, now you don't remember? You don't remember we was at the park and we was talking about, like, the gender roles. And I was telling you, like, how you ain't got to work. And remember you got mad at me because I didn't want you to work? I said, do you know what hypothetical means do you know what having a conversation is like we were just discussing it we never said you never came up to me and said hey we're let's have a conversation about what our future is going to be like together we were just talking we just was having an open discussion baby it was just hypothetical it wasn't even to be honest let me take that back it wasn't even hypothetical it's not even like i said what if me and you got together then blah 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 we were just having a general conversation while we was chilling and we all was just expressing our opinions about stuff it wasn't even hypothetical so i'll take that back so i'm just like James, we just was sitting there talking. It wasn't nothing major. I that wasn't gonna be my future. It wasn't gonna be you. I don't know. So I'm like, what's going on with Daisy? Did something happen to him or something? Because what you talking about is something serious. He like, no, I was just letting you know. Like I'm gonna keep our secret. But you, you know what? You you acting like you had a problem or something. James, me and you don't talk. What are you talking about? I'm acting like I got a problem. I do got a problem because you calling my phone about nothing. You just want a reason to talk to me. And you know what? I blame myself because I should have never answered. So I'm like, okay, so if nothing going on with Desi or whatever, he's straight, then we don't need to talk. So he like, oh, you. so you go choose him over me? Like a nigga you had just met? Like y'all just started talking, man. You, we got, we got months into this. Like I don't understand how you going to pick another nigga over me. This is where Delulu starts coming in. And I really started to name him Delulu, but I already got a Delulu, so I don't be trying to confuse y'all. But I said, I'm not picking nobody over it. Both of you two motherfuckers go to hell. For all I care, y'all can go to jail or hell, baby. Pick what? Like, I'm, I don't care about none of that. I'm not picking nobody over you. I'm like, James, sweetheart, you're not even a part of the multiple choice answers, baby. You were never going to get picked, whether it's Desi or not. You were never going to get picked. Like, I'm not choosing him over nobody. The thing is, you keep trying to call me and act like you keeping some secret, like something more happened between us, and it really didn't. I don't need you to keep nothing. You can tell Desi everything. Because really, what is you going to tell him? We hung out a couple times. We might have kissed a couple times. You started being crazy. You tried to follow me. You put up to the bar. Like, what are you really going to tell that man? So, it's no secret. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. He still tried to talk, y'all. I was just so irritated by my whole day. I just hang up. Like, me a conversation and him talking, I hang up on James. So, he texted me like, damn, what the fuck? Like, that was rude as hell. I thought we was better than that. And I'm like, stop thinking. Stop thinking, baby. You got to stop thinking we better than that because we ain't. We ain't better than nothing. I don't fool with you. And I, I wish you would stop fooling with me, to be honest. So, whatever. Um, He was texting. I was by, I don't care. I don't want to hear about nothing from neither one of y'all at this point. So, mind y'all. I, at this point, y'all know, like, I know y'all think I'm just some big hoe anyway. So, I told y'all I was talking to multiple people. Remember, in the other story time, I said, I always was talking to multiple people. But it's just that when Desi asked to be exclusive, I kind of stopped talking to people. So, now it's kind of like F Desi too. Because I like that he told me to, like, sit down and answer these questions or that he was being weird. So, in my mind, I don't know if he going to be upset that I used to talk to James and he don't want to talk no more. So, I kind of already just prepared myself. So, now I started talking to my other people. Right, I started texting them back. You know, you you hit the people with the hey big head. So I started hey big head, and everybody started trying to get my little roster back up. Cause I'm like fuck both of y'all, y'all weird. So I'm texting people, whatever. I start texting people back. So you know they like, oh what's up stranger? Long time no here. Did all it is. So I'm just thinking like, oh yeah, I was trying to get my life together. Blah blah blah. You know. So I started talking back to people. So I go out on this date, y'all. I'm going to just say the other boy. He don't really need no name, for real. I'm going to say the other boy. I go out. Okay, actually, he do. Okay. 
Oh, it's too many names. He could be the other boy, just for the sake of ah, oh, too many names. So I'll go out with this other boy, right? So me and him, we been to each other. We actually went to high school together. But you know when like somebody like you in high school, and they either be too shy or scared to say something, so they wait till you get out of high school, and now they want to be like, I used to always like you in school, but you ain't never given a good chance. And it's like, bro, you never said nothing to me. You never said you like me. So how would I know? So we knew each other since high school, but we wasn't like close in high school. We just, you know, we see each other passing the hall. So once we got out of high school, that's when he tried to really like pursue me. So he used to always like my pictures and comment on everything. When you gonna get a nigga a chance, all of this. So I finally gave him a chance. So mind you, we hung out a couple times before, but like it, every time I talked to him, somebody else was always like above, not above him, but like you know when you got a roster, you always got your, you know, the one that's like in first place. So every time I be talking to people, the other guy, he always was like in fourth or fifth place because he worked a lot and you know good for him it's nothing wrong with that but you know when you do work a lot and you really don't have time for nothing else it's really hard for me to like you know especially when I'm young like he was about his business at a young age which is good like he's still doing good in life but it's like he worked so much like worked long hours and he worked seven days out the week and I'm glad that he was a hustler but hustler but for me like I said I'm young every time I want to see you you at work so he just was always like we just always we just couldn't we y'all know y'all know okay but he was always cool so he'll work like seven days and then like he'll have like maybe he normally work like seven days and had like maybe two weekends off out the month some type of schedule or whatever so i guess at this point when he end up when i end up like texting him back and he hit me back up he was telling me like hey, he got a promotion and he picked his own schedule and did it all of this right so i'm like oh okay cool so we started back like trying to hang back out because i'm like all right now you probably got a little bit more time for me and stuff like that right so this time we hang out or whatever. Like I said, we hung out a couple more times. And then it was a long time. Like, I ain't talked to him for, like, six months. So, now we hitting each other back up now. So, he like, you know, I want to take you out to dinner and stuff like that. We need to catch up. You know, I'm going to tell you about my promotion. See what's going on in your life. All of that. He was one of those guys that he really got an old soul. I think he was well beyond his years. Because, like I said, straight out of high school, he was working seven days out the week. Making money, saving money. Trying to be an entrepreneur. He was really, he really did good for himself. So, even though we were still younger he was always like he the type that marriage and kids and we like in our early 20s and stuff and it's not a good or bad thing i'm just saying like he was well beyond and i don't think i and i could i can honestly say this i don't think i was mature enough for that yet and a lot of people are not if you in your 20s 21 22 23 and somebody come talking about settling down with kids and you know i want to take care of you and all of that it might sound good now at my age but back then i'm thinking like i'm gonna be in the streets like i did want a boyfriend but it was just like marriage kids all of that like it was a little bit too much for me even though like i said he was a good guy but anyways anyways i'm just trying to set up the scene so um, he was a really good guy but i just felt like i wasn't mature enough for that or some might say you know i was just too young like i'm not thinking about no kids or whatever so i go out to eat with him whatever we always got good conversation like i said because he he would talk about any and everything like he's talking about his school he in school he's talking about his job he's telling about the promotion so you know he still got a little swag to him though he like when you gonna let me take you off the market you know i'm trying to put a couple kids in you and let you be a wife so you know i'm young so i'm like oh, kids uh -uh, i ain't trying to take care of no kids kids like a wife i ain't trying to be no wife like i'm 20 i'm 21 i'm 22 you know i'm just like oh no like we gotta we gotta date some more like give us a couple more years and he's like man no like i ain't trying to be 30 40 years old with a two-year-old and stuff he's like i'm ready to have kids now and i'm just like other guy i don't know what to tell you baby i ain't that like i don't know so he just was like um he just moved a little bit too fast for me so whatever we all at dinner we talking or whatever and having a good time and we at dinner you know he takes a picture of our food now my face wasn't in the picture but like you could see like my neck down y'all already know i have very distinct tattoos as you can see and i had this tattoo you know when i was younger as well not like in high school but if you see this tattoo nine times out of ten, really ten times out of ten, you gonna know it's me, right? So, he, I, my face wasn't in it because I seen the picture or whatever. My nails is in it and my neck down or whatever. So, you can see my tattoo. 
So he takes the picture, whatever he posted on social media. Mind you, I don't mind because it's no secret that we together. We not, we both single. We not hiding from nobody. We not, you know, we not doing none of that. So I'll take a picture of him too. Kind of similar neck down. All you see is his chain and like his shirt or whatever. Cool. Take the picture. So we enjoy our meal, whatever. I go back to his house just to chill. Like we wasn't even on no like, say, he not like that. Like he, he a real gentleman. Don't get me wrong. He just moved a little bit too fast for me at the time. But he wasn't trying to sleep with me or nothing like that. I literally went back to his play, place and guess what we played, y'all? Monopoly. Y'all, I love me some Monopoly, but Monopoly can get so competitive. You literally can play that game for hours. So we back at his house playing Monopoly. And this is why this this dude, James, is such a bad shit crazy. He end up knowing the other guy. Mind you, he they're not tight, so I don't want y'all to think I'm just homie hopping. I can't help that, like, I hate the dudes that's, like, kind of, like, hood famous. They know everybody, so they think everybody is supposed to be off the market. It ain't my fault that you know everybody and they mama, like, stop meeting so many people. I said this before in another video. Y'all need to stop trying to be like, oh, that's the bro. You can't talk. Like, he off limits. Stop putting people off limits if you just know them. Now, if it's your close friend, if it's your brother, like, you, I'm, I mean, like, you know this dude, mother, his siblings, or whatever. What If it's an OG, y'all been rocking since middle school high school cool but if you just know him because you see him at the club every saturday or you play basketball with him or you know him through somebody else he another mutual friend or you see him every twice a year he not off limits that's not your brother that's not your ex boom coon like if you just know them then just know them like why is he off limits just because you know him so so if you not if you can't go to that nigga mama house and be good it don't count. If you wouldn't carry his body at the funeral, if you're not a part of the freaking, what is it, six men that's supposed to carry, I know that's going too far, but I'm just saying. If you wouldn't be carrying his body at the funeral, you're not his close bro. If you don't know that nigga birthday, if you don't know his real name, if you don't know the nigga middle name, that ain't your real brother. Okay? So stop talking about people off limits. Anyways, James, like I said, I ain't gonna lie, he's pretty popular. You know, a lot of people know him. So, he do got a huge following on social media. So, of course, now he followed the other guy. Now, I don't know he followed the other guy because I don't know what's up with these niggas thinking when we meet them. Am, am I supposed to have a picture like, hey, before I meet you, do you know this guy, James? Do you know Desi? Look at this. Do y'all know him? I'm not about to send your picture around to all my dudes to see if y'all know each other. I'm not doing that. Like, I'm not about to go on his social media. Let me see who he's following. I don't do all that expected gadget ass shit. That's just not... I find out when I find out, right? So, like I said, and then James do got a, a huge following. So, I'm not about to go through all thousands of your stuff. No, 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 no. So, whatever. So, he ended up knowing the other guy. This is what James do while he... Actually, I should have named James freaking Joe from the show You because he's a creep. So, this is James... He ended up texting me. Again, don't ask me why I didn't block him, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all can't ask me questions that I don't have the answers to. He ended up texting me and was like, LOL. So, my mind automatically went to, he must know what I'm doing. Because y'all know the last time he texted me what I'm doing when I was with Desi. And he like, I already know what you're doing. So, once me and the other guy posted them pictures and I get a text from James, I'm like, either he see me like he see my social media or he see the other guys but i'm thinking he just see mine at this time because y'all gotta remember me and james still follow each other on social media so i'm thinking he saw my picture that i posted because i just posted it i ain't say nothing you know i never really say nothing back so he double text and he was like oh i see you with the other guy like but said his name so you know i'm like because mind you i only the it was neck down you could see his chains but his chains ain't have like his name on it it was just like a cross and like a regular gold chain like it was simple stuff that anybody could have so it's like how are you pairing these chains to that face? like how do you know because you don't see his face right so i'm thinking like how would you know that this is other guy like how would you know that so i still ain't saying nothing back and he was like you just love the homie hop so i'm thinking like Okay, no, you know what? I can't do this. Mind you, me and the other guy is really cool. We've been knowing each other from high school. So I was just like, I didn't text James back, but I just looked up. I said, other guy. I'm like, see, you must um you must know a lot of people because I'm already getting text messages about you. So he like, what? Like, I don't know how, because you know I stay out the way. All I do is work, which is true. So I was like, you know this, um, you know this guy named James? And he like, James who? I'm like, James, he got this and that, he this side, you know, I started describing him. So he like 
nah, that don't sound familiar. I don't know the nickname James. Then I thought about it. I'm like, oh, some people be calling him Jay. So I'm like, oh, do you know this this guy named Jay? And he like, Jay, built like how you just said? Mm, mm, mm. He like, not really. Would I work with him or something? I'm like, no, nah, because, you know, James street pharmacist okay he, he ain't doing on not five so i'm like no i don't think you work with him but like you know he like mm, that don't ring a bell i don't know what you're talking about so i'm like mm, okay so i'm sitting now so we kind of finished talking about stuff so i'm debating on showing this man a picture or not because me and the other guy we cool like that it ain't like this no newbie we we cool we was friends first so even though we still like friends but we really was like you know whatever so I'm debating on if I want to show a picture of James because now I got to know. Like, if me and the other guy about to pursue anything, I got to know who the fuck know James and who don't because he just keep taunting me. Like, it's like baggage that I can't get rid of. He keeps following me into multiple relationships. Not, well, not relationships, but situationships or whatever. Y'all know what I mean. He keep following me into everybody else that I talk to. So I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I'm going to just show this nigga a picture because I, I got to know. It's eating me up. I got to know. I got to know. So I go to James' uh, social media or whatever. And I was like, hey, go a picture of him. Like, you know him? So, you know, other guy look, he like, yeah, like that nigga do look familiar. He do kind of look familiar. He like, I don't know where I know him from, but he do, I guess so. Like, he like, I do think that I know him. But I'm like, the fact that he had to really think about it means that y'all can't be like close friends. So he like, um, would you know him or something? I'm like, yeah, I just used to talk to him, and I'm like, yeah, I just basically gave him the rundown. I ain't going to repeat everything to y'all, but I just gave him the rundown. Like, yeah, he a little crazy. He did this, and I was talking to this boy, and da 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 all of this. So he just like, oh, yeah, he like, I don't know where I know him from, but I do. He look familiar, so okay. And I was like, oh, okay, well, as long as y'all ain't super close to nothing, he like, oh, no, nah, because I don't even know homie like that. Like, I ain't even know. So I was like, okay, cool. So, I ain't say nothing to James. I just kept on with the night, whatever. At this point, you know, he offered me some wine. I told y'all he's real mature for his age, okay? And y'all know how I feel about wine. I don't really drink wine, but I still haven't found the perfect wine. But I'm drinking wine with him because, shoot, he pull up. I'm going to match your energy. Like, you got your little fireplace going. You got the, the vibes. You got the games, the uno out. Let's go ahead and sip some wine. So, I'm kicking it with the other guy. Real cool. We have a good night. Cool, y'all. That was that. So, I leave because I, I wasn't going to spend a night or nothing like that. I was just going to kick it with him that day. I leave. I get home. So, that was cool. So, days went on. I'm still texting the other guy. Like, we, we kind of talking a little bit heavy. You know, the drill. Desi ended up texting me. He kind of texted me early. So, he like, yeah, uh, call me when you get off work. So, I'm like, Ugh fuck do he want because at this point i'm starting to forget about little desi because I, I i thought you had a problem with me talking to Desi, so i'm starting to forget about little desi so i'm like whatever so i get off work i'm in my car or whatever i'm going to go get something to eat so while i'm in the drive through i call desi so i'm like hey he like yeah like what's going on like how you been i'm like i've been good like you and he like, why are you talking to me like that because i was real like what's up like you know i guess he could just under, hear the anger like or not anger but he probably could just he uh, probably just my tone was just off and i'm like mm, well i'm like i'm straight what about you he like oh. no nah, yeah i was just calling you because you know i missed you or whatever we ain't talked in a minute i just want to let you know i'm not really tripping about the james situation me and him talked and you know i told him how i felt about you and he was saying like i should pursue you like you know he wasn't gonna really get in the way of us talking and i'm like oh you needed your homeboy to tell you to pursue me or is it something that you wanted to do he's like no you know it's something i wanted to do but you know i just wanted to check in with the homie make sure he was gonna be okay with it so I'm like, you had to check in with James to make sure he was going to be okay with us talking. Like, we already talked. So what was James going to do? So if James told you not to talk to me, which wasn't going to talk to me, he like, I'm, I'm just saying, that's the homie. So like, you know, I was just checking this temperature. So I'm just like, whatever, Desi. I don't really care. I'm like, no, nah, you really kind of just took too long. And the fact that you needed to think about it for like a week or two, we don't need to talk. Like, it is what it is. And he like, no, I was just, had. I really just had to think about it because... Okay, I'm going to be honest. Like, I really didn't even mind that y'all was talking. But it's like the lion. I can't do the lion. So, that's what made me have to, like, think about it a little bit longer. I'm like, what lion? Like, what do you talk about? What lion? Who lied? He like, 
okay, you, like, you ain't got a lot of me. Like, I understand you was nervous to tell me and you ain't really want to tell me. But, like, don't lie and say y'all ain't do nothing when y'all really did. Like, come on now. I said, Desi, what the fuck did we do? What are you talking about? He like, okay. I'm already over it. Like, don't keep lying. Like, come on. Like, I'm over it. I'm trying to get us back on good terms. Like, don't egg it on by continuing to lie. I'm like, Desi, I'm about to get off the phone because I don't know what you're talking about. And if you ain't going to tell me, we got to go. He like, I told you I talked to James. James told me everything. We good. Like, he told me that, you know, he smashed, but he said it was only a couple times. It ain't mean nothing. You want nothing but some pussy to him. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You see a baby turning through it. What's the hold up? I said, excuse, excuse me? What happened? You said what? He like. No, like, yeah, like, that nigga told me he smashed, and, you know, no offense to you, like, you know, I, I, I kick it with you, but he was saying, like, you was just some pussy, and that was really y'all, so, like, it ain't no big deal. I said, Desi, didn't I tell you we never slept together? He like, nah, I know what you told me, but I'm telling you the homie said, like, it was just that. Like, my homie not about to lie to me. I said, and neither am I. What am I going to lie to you for? If me and him slept together, I would have just told you. I told you everything else that happened. So, why would I lie knowing that you can call your bro and find out? I'm not about to lie. I told you the truth. That way you can decide whether you still want to kick it with me or not. I'm not about to lie. So, he like, well, the bro said, that's what he said. He said you was just some, and he just kept saying that, like, oh, you was just some, but that's what was pissing me off, because I'm like, first of all, we didn't even sleep together, but then you're going to keep saying I was just some, see, like, no, the hell I'm not, because we didn't do that. So I'm just like, I'm like, stop saying that. He like, what? What? Like, no, it's cool, though. Like, it's only a couple times he said, you ain't mean shit to him, you ain't shit to him. All that. And he just, the way he was just talking about me, I'm just like, not the nigga that was stalking me. Not the nigga that be pulling up to the bars following me. Not the nigga that was trying to follow me home saying I'm not shit to him. I didn't even care if I was or not. But don't lie on me. I never understand how these grown ass men will lie on their peanut wiener. Why are you lying? So I said, Desi, I gotta call you back. Yep, I gotta call you back. So he like, no way, like, I, we ain't done, like, I want to talk about us and, you know, see what's been going on. Yeah, but hold it, hold up. Hold that thought. I got to call you right back. I get off the phone with Desi. Do, 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 do. 911, so now. Do, 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 Hello, James. Because best believe, if you thought I was going to let that slide, even though I should have, I should have just let it be. But I cannot stand somebody that lies on me. So now I got to see. Excuse me, James. What you had said about me? He answered like, oh, what up, K-baby? You finally called me? <laughs> I ain't your baby, sir. Don't ever answer the phone with me to my K-baby, K-baby, all the, I'm not your baby. I said, oh, yeah, skip all of that. I'm like, yeah, James, I just got the phone with Desi, where you tried to make it seem like I was some hoe. And James is like, huh? What? Tune in next week for Pop Fall. <laughs> you see how I round that there? You see how I do that? But y'all already know I got to leave it off at a cliffhanger. That's what I do. That's what I do. I'm so sorry. Like, you have to tune in next week for Pop Fall, like I had said. Part four next week, y'all. I love, to, I love the people that love the cliffhangers. And if you don't love it, still tune in. It's okay. You don't got to love everything. That don't mean you don't got to watch. Still tune in next week. Okay. But yes, y'all, that is the end of my story time. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Kishon with three. Ease. And y'all already know. Until next time. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.